<laughs> okay, next question. Um, uh, it's short to the point. My implant has rotated. What can I do? Okay. Breast implant rotation is a risk of any kind of implant, but when they are round implants, it doesn't matter. Uh, breast implants that are round that rotate are the same in every direction, so big deal. If you've got a teardrop implant and that rotates, that is bad news. That can have you with an upside down looking breast. So um, if that happens, what you can do, well, I mean, it's, it's too late for this, but the best thing you can do is avoid it. And a lot of the avoidance is the surgical pocket is the way it's dissected. You want, it, you want the implant to sit in the pocket hand in glove. Um, sometimes that's, that's less easy than it sounds. If someone has had uh, massive weight loss and they've got less good tissue support, then that pocket can enlarge even after surgery. During that post-surgery period, you want to be supporting that implant in a supportive garment. And I recommend that those are worn full-time for six weeks at first. And by that time, you should have a capsule that's supporting it. But what if then that does happen? You do get uh, a rotated implant. Um, it can be rotated, by the way, axially, or it can be flipped too. So it can be flipped so that its superficial surface lies deep and its deep surface lies superficially, and that can affect round implants too. In either case, you can maybe manipulate it back with your, with, you know, just with your hands. Um, some patients t tell me about you know, doing that in the bath and they're able to turn it and, and do stuff like that. But if it's happened once, more likely than not, it's going to happen again, I'm afraid. And a long-term solution is much more often than not a return to theatre. So returning to theatre, the implant gets temporarily removed. It, you can reinsert an implant that you've removed temporarily as long as you look after it while it's out. The pocket gets um, reduced, the pocket gets stitched internally to make it smaller so that the implant does fit it like a glove and then returned and then you have to do, do the same precautions again. One of the biggest risks of that is that of it recurring, of the implant forcing those stitches open in the early healing period. Another risk is that you can get little skin dimples, internal dimpling, um, externally visible dimpling actually, where that pocket has been reduced, but that is not so much of a worry. That does get uh, better by itself. So I do warn people if I'm ever doing that kind of secondary surgery, that I really will be quite aggressive with getting that pocket the right size and really reducing it. And they may see some external dimpling, but it does get better. So yeah, that, those are kind of your options for implant rotation, I'm afraid.